Hey, what's going on, world? It's me again, Ethan Smith, aka Mr. Ping. Another daily dose positive post, man. A little bit of morning motivation and inspiration for your situation. Hoping that it frees and relax your mind as if you are on a vacation. Sometimes we make plenty of plans and we have no idea what God has planned for us. Sometimes we make plenty of plans and we have no idea what God plans for us. But you should trust and believe and know that the plans that he has set for you will take you further than the plans that you set for you could ever take you before. You know, I was looking, uh, I wasn't looking to move. I had to move instantaneously, taking on my father. He's, you know, my responsibility, um, just my responsibility my family and i taking on my father and i went and looked at several homes for us to lease and make it accountable accommodating for him and the home that i'm in now i must say it was more than i could ask for it was more than we thought we needed but we asked god to give us what we needed what we needed not what we wanted so when i came and looked at this place the place next door to me, you really can't, you're really not able to see. But just know this, it didn't look like some of the other neighborhoods in the house. And I really wasn't, I really wasn't sure that I wanted to be here. And at that time I said there, just because of the area or because of the neighbor's house that I seen and I wasn't, <coughs> I wasn't sure why. I, I just wasn't sure y'all. I wasn't sure I was making judgments before I even met the people that was in the neighborhood that I could possibly live in, but I didn't have a plan for exactly where I wanted to be or how I wanted to be done. I just knew that I needed someone that, somewhere to fit my family. So my plan was to follow what God's plan was for my life. And I continue to tell my wife, no matter what happens, that God is going to give us what we need and not what we want. Not based on what we feel and what we see, but what fits and what's going to be comfortable for the family. So my next door neighbors, the house that I didn't enjoy seeing, the house that I didn't uh, have an idea who would be there or I wasn't aware. But let me show you how God's work. See, my plan was not to be here. My plan was to be at another house that I've seen. But God plan changed. And God plan told me that that wasn't for me. And he placed me where he wanted to be, where we asked, where we asked to be. Not this particular house, but where he had best for us. Now, I ain't just saying you got to put it all on God's hands and sit back and wait for, for something to happen. No, 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 no. A man plans his way, but the Lord orders his steps. I told him what I needed and what I would like to have in order to fit the family and the things that we needed to do. And now the neighbors that he put next to me, y'all, that I ain't want nothing to do with. God's plan was the plan that helped my father life because the neighbors next to me been some through some of the same physical things that he's dealt with our plans don't always turn out the way that we see but the plans that god has for us leads us to where we need to be now my family and my father is in a place that's so peaceful and full of life and knowledge that I'm so happy that the plan that God had for me went and preceded the plan that I set for E. It went and preceded the house that I saw that I picked for E in the family. God's plan helped me put me in a better position to be a better man and to help my father with other men his age, with other peers his age that's been through some of the things in life that he's experienced and they hadn't talked about how they overcame every stage of that life. Trust God's plans for your life and know that if you don't plan anything, you might just be planning to fail. But when you plan, know and hear me very well. God will take your plans and wrap them around to something else. He will change the plans that you had, but trust and believe it's only going to make it better for yourself. Every time that we plan, our plans don't always come to fruition the way we see them. But God has a plan, and his plan always sees you through to a better version of you, man. Hey, I hope this motivation and inspiration was something for your situation to free and relax your mind as if you are on vacation. If you don't understand what I'm saying, commit your works to God and trust his plan. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. I'm out. Peace.